read Dr. Cook's book, Canary in the Coal Mine, and he is a doctor in a small community that faced the worst outbreak of HIV AIDS in the nation. So Indiana, as you probably know, is known as the crossroads of America. And in 2015, we became the crossroads of multiple deadly epidemics, including the opioid crisis and HIV. Uh, we actually became the epicenter of the worst drug-fueled HIV outbreak in the history of the United States out of a town of 4,300 people. Our mission is health literacy. We want all people to have access to quality health information so they can make informed decisions about their health. Tying a book and an author with libraries, and this was just the perfect combination. I wanted to provide a, a, a very human approach to the issues of substance use disorder, HIV, community care, kind of destigmatize it and bring it into the realm of just basic health care. I, mean, I had gone overseas, I'd been, you know, been on mission trips to third world countries, but even there, I didn't see the same conditions that I saw right here in, in Indiana. We've had three events so far. We've been in Clarksville, Indiana, Evansville, and now here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. As part of our program, Lead In, uh, we donated books to each of the communities. We were able to distribute about 100 copies of the book throughout the community, and the topics that he addresses in his book touch the entire country, but particularly here in Allen County. We still have a large number of opioid overdoses every day here in Allen County, and we need to continue to battle. And I think that's a great thing that Dr. Cook does, is getting people to call to action so that they do have a plan when they leave here and giving them some tools to use to better battle the opioid crisis. And I just want to leave you with the fact that there's always hope. There's always hope. There's, there's toxic conditions that are harming people, but there's something we can do about it. We can come together as a community to make sure that every child born in our community has access and resources and choices that they need to be healthy and prosperous. So we had a tragedy, we responded to it in a community way, and now we're a success story. And I, I wanna make sure that that knowledge is shared with other communities. And I love that the Network for National Library of Medicine's uh, you know, championing that um, in this way.